Um, I really hope that they um, choose a nice neutral color um, <laughs> for my nails because I don't want anything too crazy. Right, you want manly nail polish. <laughs> <laughs> So you are in town for a reunion? Yeah, I mean, I'm in town to, to oh, as I'm always, to visit family and to, yeah. you know. But there's also a reunion, so you're going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go to my high school reunion. I'm a little nervous about it. In Actually, a lot nervous about that it. That you haven't done anything with the 10 years? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just embarrassed. No. Um, I don't know. I just didn't really like high school that much. and really? And I... I just I don't know I I I've changed a lot I'm I'm I was a little bit meaner when I was in high school were you? Pro probably because you know I just had to grow thick skin because people were mean to me I was bullied because I was weird Oh yeah but yeah so like I don't know it's just a weird thing Did you right. go to your ten year reunion I did and uh, here's what I would say Well first thanks for assuming that I'm older than you. <laughs> but you're right. <laughs> uh, yes, I did. And uh, the, my two observations were that it, well, it was before, like, Facebook was really taking off, mm. so I am older. But, um, but uh, so I tried to recognize people, and I could only recognize them by, like, uh, imagining them with more hair and, like, thinner. Mm. Because everyone just kind of gets a little thicker and loses hair. Right. In 10 years. So that'd be my way of identifying people. Yeah. But I don't know if you're on the Facebook, but now it's like a reunion all the time. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I used to be on Facebook, and I, I kind of stopped because I just never really used it. Yeah. And I'm on, I'm, I have like a, a, a page, but not a profile. Oh, right, So right. I can't really like look at anybody else's stuff. I can <laughs> yeah. just put out. I can't yeah. take in. Right. So you're a giver. I'm a giver, you know. It's it's you know by nature. But yeah. um yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of silly anyway, so It is all silly. It's all distraction. Yeah. Movies and stuff you're like, "Oh my gosh, a reunion. It's the biggest deal in the world." Yeah. But like when you show up, you're like, "Oh, okay." That's what I'm hoping. Like I've, yeah. I've ran it through a hundred times in my mind, and then I think, "Well, don't do that. Just show up and you're going to have a great time. It's going to be cool." Yeah. But then, you know, my mind just starts reeling, and I'm like, uh, I don't know how it's going to be. Who's going to show up? Who do I study in the yearbook? Right. <laughs> you just imagine that you're walking in, and it's a cafeteria, and everyone has a place to sit, but yeah, you... Yeah, well, that's what my first day of was Paper it? Poo was. It was like... Sophomore I, year, you don't know anyone. Sophomore year, didn't know anybody, walked in, had the tray in hand, scanned the whole room. You did. Uh, and I sat by myself. And luckily, uh, some people sat by me, and, and that was nice. But, you know, it was, it was pretty tragic. Kickapoo, at, at least my class and the years <clears throat> that I went there, it's like the most cliche movie version mm -hmm. of what a high school is. Like, yes. we were the best at football, the best at basketball. Like, you had the jocks and the nerds yeah. and the goth kids and like everybody was like, I don't know, it's, I look back on it and I'm like, this is, how, that's real? Like, that's, I, I like that you say that because it affirms my thoughts because I said my wife went to school there and like we'd talk about high school and I'd be like, your high school sounds just like a movie. <laughs> <laughs> like we'd it see was. some movie with a party or something and she'd be like, yeah, I went to parties like that. I was like, we didn't have parties like that. <laughs> My, uh, my senior year, I was the assemblies commissioner for student council, so mm -hmm. I organized all the assemblies. Our, our final assembly was like reading off all the accolades of all of the clubs and groups and mm -hmm. teams and everything. And it just got boring after a while saying, oh, and guess what? Our science club came in first in the state, <laughs> along with the other 32 clubs that right. you know, entered anything into anything. We won it all. So We're it was the just, best at everything. And we knew it. Yeah. <laughs> there was a giant chip on everyone's shoulder. I will say, though, for like being like kind of this cool, successful high school, that couldn't have happened upon worse colors. Yellow and brown? Piss and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. So High School Musical was your first big thing. Did you have any sense it was going to be big while it's happening, while you're shooting? Oh, definitely not. I mean, you know, honestly, that that question's been asked to me yeah. so many times, and I always say no. There was a sense of 
this is special while yeah. we were shooting it. But at the time, I had already shot another Disney Channel movie, mm -hmm. and then went back to work at Blockbuster afterwards. Yeah. And the sh the movie went on the shelves at Blockbuster, and kids would come in and be like, "You look like that kid," and I'm like, "It no is way. me." And they're like, "No, I can't be," because he's. Cause movie stars here. make millions of dollars, and I'm like, well, let that be a lesson to you, kid. <laughs> Not every movie star right. is a millionaire. <laughs> so. so you were working in movies and working in movies. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. This is a crappy blade. God! <laughs> hey, what would you think about moving from L.A. to Springfield to be my full-time sidekick? I think that would be sad. <laughs> it would be sad. What if we just traded lives? That like trading what like trading wives, but like trading that, lives. But lives. But you would get a wife and a child. <laughs> what would I get? A career. Money. <sighs> um yeah. Clothes that are too small for me. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. I live a, I live in a house, so you get that. I'm I'm like across the street from George Clooney. We like fight all the time. And he has chickens, and they just, you know. Because he's so into all yeah, that. Yeah, he's like, I'm a stuff. hippie. Yeah. Me, right. me, me. Oh, Obama's coming over. Right. And then I got to deal with the traffic of Obama coming right by my house, and I'm just like, oh. And you're just like, I just want to shoot my guns at things. Hell yeah. I've got, you know, my um, equestrian area it's set up, and my, I like to shoot, shoot while. Horses? No, oh. while on horseback. Uh huh. Like you shirtless, know. Lucas Graviel, shirtless. Yes. Well, that's where the picture's coming from. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, practicing my rifle skills on the back of my steed. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably good, right? <laughs> we should end with that. Lucas Graviel with a gun, shirtless, on top of his steed, angering George Clooney. Well, or he's angering me. Thank you, sir. Thank you.